challenging situations. Throughout life we all find ourselves in uh, different situations that we have to handle and some of them can be very difficult and I guess it's the way that we uh, we approach them that uh, determines who we are. Uh, in these early 70s I worked in a venture playground a large city estate and every Sunday afternoon we used to have a free-for-all football where dozens of lads would come down and we'd pick sides and then we'd have a free-for-all free -for football. It was rough, it was ready, <laughs> there were no rules <laughs> and people used to barge into, other, into each other and no science. A lot of physicality, which the youngsters really enjoyed. That's really what they wanted. A good physical workout. And we gave it to them. Uh, and one day, afternoon, I happened to bump into this lad uh, when we were tackling. Maybe I hit him a little hard. And he fell over. And he got up, looked at me, and stormed off and a few minutes later he came back with a bottle broken bottle and he said I'm going to put this in your face so I just stood there looking at him and there was silence all the football club everyone was looking and he looked around and suddenly my co-leader, or the leader of the, of the Adventure Playground, um, because I was only a volunteer, said, uh, oh, don't be so stupid. Come on, on with the game. And he stormed off. A few weeks later, he reappeared again. This time he had an axe and uh, he went over to the few young saplings that we had within the adventure playground and started cutting them down. I approached him and said, oh, come on, don't be so silly. You don't want to do that. And uh, he just ignored me and carried on cutting at these saplings with the axe. So I took the axe off him. And he turned around, absolutely fuming. And I just looked at him. I said, you know, you can't do that. And he stormed off again. So a few weeks passed and the deputy and myself at the Adventure Playground um, had just finished a, a long day's work. It was about quarter to eight and we were closing up. It was dark, windy and suddenly these five lads arrived. Well, I knew them all because it all come down to the, the Adventure Playground. They were all in their late twenties. Uh, um, late teens, early twenties, and uh, they proceeded to climb on the structures overlooking the forecourt uh, where the building was. Not a word was said, and they just looked at me. But I went around my business and went back into the building, and I, I said to the deputy, I said, uh, <laughs> got a bit of a situation <laughs> and he said yes well it's none of my business I said what do you mean <laughs> it's none of your business he said well it isn't um, he said I, I, I've got to go and I said you're not going to leave me here you're not leaving me here with these five lads outside to handle them on my own are you he said, yes, yes, he said, nothing to do with me, you know. I said, well, you can't leave me alone. 
You can't. And with that, he grabbed his coat and he was gone. So, I thought, well, nothing more I can do is that, uh, than lock up and see what happens. So, I cleared up and then when it got 8 o'clock, I twitched out all the lights, put up the shutters of the building and when I completed that, I turned around to face them and there they were looking at me. I thought, well, see what happens. When suddenly, the lad that uh, had uh, was the, caused the, the problems jumped down. He looked at me and he said, right, he said, we're going to sort you out. I said, you are? He said, yeah. We looked at each other for a few seconds and then he turned around to the lads and he said come on come on lads let's get him and they just sat there and he says come on lads let's get him and then one said well if you want him you have him and he realised at that moment that he had been set up. In no way were they going to attack me. And they just wanted to see what I had done. They'd seen my... <laughs> the deputy had uh, scarpered. And, you know, they just wanted to see what I would do. And uh, they just uh, smiled. And I looked at uh, the young man. And then I turned and walked off. To say I wasn't scared, of course I was. But there are times when we have to take these challenges. We have to confront them, whatever happens. And that's what gives us our self-respect in the way we handle it. And also, maybe it has helped the other, the young man. You know, maybe he realised at that time that that was a cowardly and uh, dreadful thing to do. And unfortunately, he never ever came near the adventure playground again. I mean, the other lads did. <laughs> but they never mentioned it. Never ever brought it up. So, uh, happy ending. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs>